Hey guys, it's Krista with Saddle Box, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I like to cinch my saddle. So it recently came to my attention that most people use the Texas T method, which that's the first method I used um, to learn how to cinch a saddle, but all the performance barns and the big, you know, name barns that I've been to all pretty much use the traditional method, I guess you could call it, um, of where you put, you actually use your, your cinch and you put, like you put it in the hole <laughs> instead of just tying a knot, which is the Texas T knot. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you how to do that right here. So the reason I prefer this method to the Texas T method is it's a lot easier to readjust your saddle. Um, like after you walk your horse off or you know you lunge them and they deflate a little bit, um, it's easier to just go ahead and just tighten it right there instead of having to kind of redo your Texas T knot. Um, also, it's I feel a little more security about like my saddle not slipping with it um, because you're you're actually putting it like a belt in a hole, so it's very like, it's very secure. Okay, so to start off, I have my cinch right here, my latigo here. I'm gonna take my latigo, grab the end of it like this, put it through this way. Just show you a little better. This way, not this way. You don't wanna go up and through, you wanna go like you're putting it down in there and through. Okay, so we're gonna do like that. Then I'm gonna take the end again, like this, and we're gonna go down this way. Pull it through. And I'm gonna make sure this goes through again, right here. Make sure everything's properly in line. So now I can literally, we have our little, uh, our buckle right here. I can literally just pull it until it fits. So I ran out of holes, so I'm gonna go ahead and go through again. So all I do is just take the end, put it through the top. Then I like to pull this out so I can make sure this goes through the bottom like this. Then you pull it tight. And then make sure that's not cutting her in half, but it's nice and tight. And then I put my, uh, Go ahead and put it through the hole like so. And then to um, adjust it, all you do is pull on this right here, just like this. And then it's nice and snug. And then I put my excess uh, through here, this little thing. And so this is what it should look like when you're all done. So that's it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.